All right, I am making um, an Uber Eats delivery. Um, I'm not sure if it's illegal to make videos while I'm doing it, but I'm not giving out any information, so I don't think it really matters. And so I wanna, what I wanna talk about while I'm on my way to uh, downtown is why today's topic is why you should accept the fact that people are going to reject facts. And I want to make this video as non-condescending as possible because it sounds super patronizing. But the truth is, is that anyone who pays attention to politics or religion or any type of, uh, you know, ideological, you know, type thing has made this exact same complaint. You know, why do people reject facts? Why do people reject logic? You know, how come, how come this person won't accept the facts? Or how come this person won't look at data and evidence. And the truth is, is that in our political climate today, um, no matter which party you belong to, or if you belong to somewhere in between, is that people in general wanna believe what they wanna believe. Nothing we say or do can change that. We can only present ideas to the person and facts to the person, and then the other person has to choose whether they want to accept it or not, or how they'll accept that. But we can't really force change onto other people. And this is where a lot of frustration comes. A lot of people, um, when it comes to politics or religion, will engage in debates. And they'll, um, they'll present their argument and why they think they're right. And they'll start to get really passionate and fired up when um, the other person um, fails to accept the logics or the logic or data being presented and oftentimes the data will be really good like the facts that will be presented will be really good but the truth is is that there's going to be you're going to meet a lot of people in life or in just in general who just flat out won't accept any facts or data because they don't want to there's a saying that kind of goes like this and it's not true for every single person so don't quote it but there's a saying it's kind of like you know, we 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 put so we place subjective value onto things, and we we choose what to believe and what to think based off of subject uh, based off of subjective matters. But then we use objective matters to justify it. And in psychology, what you would call that is, or or what resembles that is confirmation bias. You know, you have a thought, you have a belief, you have a stance on something. And then you use facts and data to justify that, but you use your feel, but your feelings are what made you choose that. And so I think, I think, in general, what people need to accept, and I think if you're someone who pays attention to politics or pays attention to any type of controversial realm, one of the things that you have to accept early on to save yourself a lot of pain and frustration is just accept the fact that a lot of people are just going to reject facts and logic you know because that's such a common complaint i hear from people and it's a reasonable one too you know i mean if you're going through all this work to do research and something and you're presenting it and you have your facts right and, and the issue that you're trying to present is a real legit issue yet people flat out reject it that's a very frustrating thing because you're putting in a lot of time and effort into fighting something that you believe is a great cause or is a good cause, but then people flat out reject it. But I think that in reality, no matter what, no matter if, if what you're doing, no matter what you're doing, whether it's a noble cause or not, you have to early, early, early on accept the idea that people are just gonna flat out reject it no matter how many facts, no matter how good the evidence is, no matter what, there are people that are just going to reject it. You know, it's a common thing in politics, and it's, it's an extremely common thing when it comes to religion. You know, people just are going to believe what they want to believe, and nothing you say or do is going to change it. And if the person changes, or if they change their beliefs, it's going to be on their terms, when they feel like it, when they want to, and it's not going to have nothing to do with uh, anything that you say. So, anyways, that's just something I kind of wanted to talk about today, you know, um, if anyone's watching this, leave a comment, subscribe, and tell me your thoughts, thank you.